This video is about making yet another compound of copper, copper aspirinate. Accordingly, in the 250 milliliter beaker on the left, I have 9 grams of acetyl salicylic acid, ASA, in 75 milliliters of water. On the piece of paper on the right, I have 3 grams of copper carbonate, which was prepared in another video. The procedure here will be to place the beaker of 75 milliliters of water and 9 grams of ASA into the heating mantle and get it heated up. Once it's heated to near bubbling, I will start to add the copper carbonate slowly. I'm now heating and stirring the ASA solution in the beaker when it gets up to temperature. I'll start adding the copper carbonate bit by bit. The mixture's warmed up and now I can add copper carbonate. As I add the copper carbonate, there's a fizzing as the reaction occurs. There, the last of the copper carbonate has been added. The reaction is proceeding with plenty of CO2 being evolved as the reaction continues. Continue to heat and stir until the fizzing subsides. I'll pick up the video again in a few minutes when the reaction completes and the fizzing has subsided. About 15 minutes has passed and the mixture has finally stopped fizzing. No more CO2 is being evolved and there's clearly a dark blue precipitate of copper aspirinate in here. So I'll switch to filtering, filter the precipitate off, and then wash it with isopropanol to remove any excess unreacted ASA. I've set up a small vacuum filter apparatus, and I will now filter the copper asparinate.
I'll need a little wash water to help it out of the beaker. What I now have in the vacuum filter cup is a very impure copper aspirinate that's full of unreacted ASA. So I have to now pour cold isopropyl alcohol over this to dissolve out any remaining unreacted ASA. I added isopropyl alcohol here and temporarily disconnected the vacuum line. This will gravity filter one drop per second maybe for a couple of minutes while I let the ISO dissolve any remaining unreacted ASA. Well, let's hook the vacuum line back up. and pull off the isopropyl. The volume is greatly reduced in uh, the Buchner filter cup. We now have fairly clean copper aspirinate that I'll get out and we'll get a better look at it when I have it drying on a piece of paper. Here's a look at our copper aspirinate, a dark blue precipitate. This evidently has some use in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis.